The Galaxy S23 series packs Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, but an upgraded version that's faster than the chip found in other phones today. However, that exclusive deal may end soon, with a similar offering rumored to come to other brands in the near future. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2's faster version is no longer exclusive to Samsung. For the first time in its history, Samsung used a Snapdragon processor in all its Galaxy S series phones worldwide. Experts and users praised the company a lot for this step, as the chip brought incredible battery life and performance. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy, a chip that has been exclusive to Samsung phones for a few months now, may leave its exclusivity soon. According to Chinese tipster Digital Chat Station, the higher clocked version of the Snapdragon Gen 2 processor will no longer be exclusive to Samsung phones anymore. The rumor claims that the chip will be available to various Chinese smartphone brands in the second half of this year. While the tipster didn't reveal the names of OEMs who will get access to this chip, it is possible that Asus, OnePlus, Red Magic, and Xiaomi could use it. It's not clear if this will be exactly the same chip as the for Galaxy model, but the point is that faster chips will seemingly be coming to the masses. Presumably, this would be marketed as Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 2, similar to last year's mid-cycle upgrade. The variant of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor using the Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, and Galaxy S23 Ultra has a 5% faster CPU and a 5.7% faster GPU than the standard Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Its AM processing aspect is also said to be slightly faster. This gave Galaxy S23 series an upper hand when it comes to single-core CPU performance and image processing. Next year, Samsung is planning to bring back Exynos chips with the Galaxy S24. According to some rumors, some Galaxy S24 units will come equipped with the Exynos 2400, while others will use the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. The Exynos 2400 is said to feature a much faster GPU and improved power efficiency. That concludes today's video. I hope you found the information useful. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to hear your thoughts on this topic, so please leave your comments in the section below. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.